Hello again, Gary Stearman. Time for another daily update from Prophecy in the News. It's Tuesday, the 21st of February. And in studio today, I have a gentleman you're going to want to meet. His name is Mike Hoggard, and he's uh, done some great work, which we're going to offer to you. Mike Hoggard, welcome to Prophecy in the News. It's good to be here again, Brother Gary. Listen, Mike has done some amazing videos uh, he's got a gift for putting together very viewable, very informative videos. Uh, let's just talk about one here. I, I'm holding four of them, but uh, one is called UFOs, Chariots of the Beast. And uh, you're saying, oh, Gary, I've seen all those UFO videos. Oh, no, you have not. <laughs> not until you've seen <laughs> this one. Because Mike Hoggard takes an entirely different look at the UFO question. Mike, everybody has an opinion about UFOs, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, they're, they're green men from Mars, yeah. extraterrestrials, life forms from another galaxy, how did they get here, and so on. Uh, and I have followed all of these, and uh, you know, some of them are believable, some of them are not. Some people talk about gray aliens, the Nordic aliens, and things like that, the, the reptilian aliens, and right. so on. Now, that is an interesting aspect of all of this, because they talk about these reptilian angels, and you actually see some of these, and some of these movies that are out there, you know, and Land of the Lost, and things like that oh, come sure. to mind. And so this idea of a reptilian angel, what, you stop and think about this, Lucifer, that he was of the order of angels called cherubs. The Bible says he was the anointed cherub that covereth. And the Bible consistently refers to him no other way other than as a serpent or as a dragon, a, a fiery flying serpent. Uh, we have um, Leviathan mentioned in the book of Job, and we see this, this amazing creature here. Well, that's how God describes Lucifer. So there is, a, there is definitely a Luciferian connection with all of the, the UFO agenda, the, the appearances, I have never seen a UFO. And so in my mind, do I believe they exist? Well, we know countless people have seen them. We know Project Blue Book has been out there where the government investigated all these UFO sightings. They concluded that most of them probably had a natural explanation of some kind, but there was, I don't know how many thousands that they had investigated that had no other you know, identity other than they were unidentified and they didn't have any explanation at all. And so do I believe in them even though I've never seen them? I think I do, and the reason why I do is I think that they're recorded in the scriptures. Eric Van Daniken wrote a book called Chariots of the Gods, and I remember reading that, and you know, I was about 13 years old, mm -hmm. and, and I had this fascination with what he said because he said that we had actually been visited in our past by um, extraterrestrial entities of some kind that the ancients, and this shows up in artwork and cave drawings and sculptures and Mayan artwork and things like that of men inside what looks like capsules controlling knobs, uh, Renaissance artwork where there are these disc-shaped objects in the background mm. illuminating the scenery, people pointing to them. You'll see that in this video. Oh, yeah. And, um, and so, you know, countless people have been seeing something. You know, I have to interrupt here. I, I recently acquired a book uh, that records UFO sightings going all the way back to Alexander the Great and before. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not a new phenomenon. It's been going on for, for, for millennia. It has been. And the interesting thing about the Bible is that it says that which was is that which shall be. And so there, apparently at one time in human history, there was an onslaught of something going on where people were seeing these weird-looking creatures and these flying things in the air. I believe that's going to take place again. And I took that word chariot that Von Daniken mm -hmm. coined, and I went to the scriptures, and I found a, a verse in the Psalms where it said the, the, angel, the chariots of God are, are, are 20,000, even thousands of angels. And so right there, God in his word was associating the angelic realm with these chariots. These chariots, of course, have wheels. And so we look in Ezekiel chapter 1. By the way, there was a TV show in the 70s called Project Blue Book. It was done by Jack Webb. And he would always start out narrating, Ezekiel saw the wheel. Mm -hmm. And so he was making the, the equation there that these wheels, these flying discs, these circular objects in the sky that operate in ways that you and I had, they don't go by the same rules that you and I travel mm -hmm. in. Um, 
how does that happen? And so we read and study Revelation chapter 4. We understand Ezekiel chapter 1. We see the four living creatures, and we see the wheels. And we understand from the scriptures, and this is uh, given to, I, I teach more of this in the video, about the idea of the spiritual realms actually described in the scriptures yeah. as the fourth <clears throat> dimension. I was reading in Ephesians, and Paul was talking about how we, we have, with all the saints, may understand what is the length, the breadth, and the depth. And I'm going, that's three dimensions there. But then he mentioned a fourth direction that he called height. Job said, is not God in the height of the heavens, and behold the stars, how high they are. And so all through the, all through the English Bible, the King James Bible, you see this word height associated with this fourth direction that you and I cannot comprehend. We cannot point in this direction, and yet God mentions it. He associates it with the number four. So you look in Ezekiel chapter 1, you see four living creatures. Mm -hmm. Their faces are facing in four different directions. They move in four ways. Um, you know, the Bible talks about we wrestle against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. Four things there. Mm -hmm. And what the Bible is telling you is that they are not from this three-dimensional world that we live in. So we can't we can't punch them in the mouth and defeat them, okay? Right. We can't <clears throat> beat them that way because they don't operate the same way we do. So these, these flying chariot wheels you see described in Ezekiel, yeah. they don't operate the same way that things in this world operate. They operate in a higher dimension, and that gives us the source then of both these chariots. Um, the Bible then reveals what they're here for, what their agenda is. The Bible even reveals through their language of typology how man is involved with these chariots. And that, to me, was the most fascinating oh, yeah. aspect of this. Now, at those, uh, those wheels, as seen by Ezekiel, they were full of eyes. Yes. And they had the Spirit in them, mm -hmm. the, the Spirit of God, apparently. In other words, they were something we have no way of understanding. And they were interdimensional. Uh, and by the way, uh, UFO witnesses often say they just pop in, they pop out. That's right. And they move around quickly. Bing, bing, bing. <clears throat> now you see it here, now you see it over here. They're not earthly vehicles at all, and yet the Bible doesn't talk about uh, visitors from other planets. No. There's never a mention in the Bible of Absolutely someone not. coming from another planet. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're from somewhere else. And we know where if we read the Bible. That's exactly right. God does an amazing <clears throat> job to anybody that will pay attention. He'll, he'll explain to you the area, the realms of this world that we cannot see with our own eyes. God will show it to us in the scriptures. And the UFOs are fully explained in this video. It's called UFOs, Chariots of the Beast. In fact, we have uh, four videos uh, from Mike. And they all are characteristic of the way he studies and presents ideas. He always goes back to the Bible, to Scripture. He has a way of pulling out scriptural terms and explaining them, explaining them in ways that you've never thought about before, I guarantee you. Uh, very eye-opening. Let me just uh, offer these videos to you today. Uh, UFOs, Chariots of the Beast. Uh, American Goddess, it has to do with the Statue of Liberty, who is she really? Uh, Bilderberg, the true story, it has to do with a uh, system that's in operation in the world today that is explained in the Bible, and the Cult of 33, having to do with, of all things, the number 33, and let me just uh, tease you a little bit by saying that the human spine has 33 vertebra. Hmm. And Mike works this into a biblical message of all. How did you do that? <laughs> God showed it to me. <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to see these videos. Uh, together, we're calling them the Mike Hoggard Package, and we're offering them uh, together with a year's subscription to Prophecy in the News magazine. 48 color pages packed with articles that you will really enjoy. Uh, the whole package, yours for seventy nine ninety five plus shipping and handling. Call the number on your screen right now. By the way, that would be about $115 value. So it's a value for you and, by the way, for your friends. Because I'm positive you're going to want to share these messages with your friends once you watch them yourself. Mike, you got to come by Prophecy in the News again. We enjoy talking to you. Will do. Thank you. And our time is up for today. I'm Gary Steerman wishing you a great day in the Lord blessings, and you know he's coming soon. Keep looking up. <laughs>